I'm a failure. I fail all the time. And I love failing. Do you know how many PR attempts I've failed? How many business ideas I tried and failed? How many diets I went on? How many times I tried to stop binge eating? I failed more times than the lazy version of me has even tried. I, and because of these failures, I have succeeded in many areas of life. Hamza has been my mentor for the last year. Hamza taught me a lot. The one thing he taught me that resonated with me the most is daily accountability. I saw a video by Hamza last year that was called I am a failure. I'm going to play this video right now. This video showed how Hamza became the man he is. He had daily accountability. He would wake up do his frog tasks which is do the most important task that he had he would record a video whatever he would meditate he would work out he would journal he would read and educate himself and he would distract himself from the worldly distractions and he would do dopamine detox what do all these things have in common they sound a lot like what the ancient stoics used to do back in the day there is a blueprint that lies within stoicism and this has a very positive correlation with success not only success but asymmetric success and i have experienced this personally when i read about marcus aurelius and how he became the most successful conqueror in ancient Rome. It was because he had a personal stoic coat. He would wake up and journal. He would take care of his body even though his health was frail. He would make sure that he would educate himself. He would talk to his wise men. He would learn how to strategize and he would distract himself from pleasures like um women and food and stuff like that he would practice moderation and this is exactly what made hamza successful in the first place i have used the same personal stoic code which i took from hamza and also the ancient stoics and i am now at 50,000 youtube subscribers i'm in really good physical condition i have really good mental health I am a community leader and I'm killing it at my day job. So I can attest to the fact that this daily level of accountability and personal level of stoicism, it has a direct correlation with success. But Hamza made a video recently. It was titled Hamza fell off of self-improvement. And I agree with this. Over the last few months, I have been part of Hamza's Adonis School, his coaching program uh, for entrepreneurs. And this taught me a lot, but I had to leave. I'm, I'm gonna go back to Adonis School, but it was just getting too much. And some of us can see through the bullshit. Some of us can see how much he was preaching the importance of money. Hamza as a self-improvement YouTuber, as a self-improvement coach, I will trust but I made a video before called is Hamza a modern-day elite stoic I don't think he is I think he's still figuring himself out and there are a few areas where I don't agree with him his carnivore diet I'm a vegetarian his opinion on women and relationships I am now pursuing one myself and I didn't pursue what Hamza told me and I have been more successful doing that and lastly his kind of dogged determined mentality of of 
of business of trying to make 1k per month at all costs or 10k per month at all costs and and try to make money and fuck everything else i do not i could not resonate with this and i've always followed my own instincts and i have my own guiding principles which is stoicism and this is why i kind of noticed there was a change in hamza when he shaved his beard and like he was making videos from like a five star hotel he was on a path of rediscovery i have done this myself many times i did the stoic reset protocol where i went to la and i found myself detoxing from the life that i had and coming back a changed man there's a concept in hindu mythology called the van vas van means forest and vas means going to the forest and living a life separate from what you were used to lord ram was a prince but he went to the forest he was exiled and he came back a fucking conqueror and he became from a prince to an outcast to a god so this is a concept that i think hamza is pursuing right now he got he got the best fruits of his labor in terms of money in terms of clients think about this the dude is the same age as me we're both 27 but he went from 0 to millionaire real quick and not only that his adonis school coaching program needed him to be constantly in touch with all his clients to have that level of authenticity uh, authenticity and also to give back to his clients so i don't think it's a bad thing but from what hamza said in his latest video put put the thing uh put the video of hamza looking through his trash can looking through mcdonald's lo- showing how he ate mcdonald's for a week this is an example of how hamza has fallen off of self improvement if you have a personal stoic code and you track your macros you are not going to be eating mcdonald's and for someone like hamza he cares more about his body than me you know he cares more about his physique he cares more about his mental health his physical health it means that he needed a change but hamza doesn't realize he was a stoic he was a modern day stoic i think i'm reducing him from a modern day elite stoic someone like the rock who i'm going to be making a video on i i heard you guys can you put the poll results here of the rock um someone like the rock or joe rogan these are people who have matured they are in their 30s and 40s they've been through uh many stoic reset protocols themselves they kind of know what it takes to be a modern day elite stoic hamza me we have our personal codes but we're still young we're still figuring things out so sometimes we might deviate from our personal code but the fact that hamza came back and he had accountability for his actions and he knew that he was missing the daily level of accountability shows us that he's going to rebound back hamza has a huge following but a lot of them were turning against him because he did not seem authentic he was turning into a um a lesser version of alex hormozy if you look at alex hormozy He has been tr- that is his authentic self. He works non-stop daily and he he promotes content and entrepreneurship and business. And sometimes you can tune him out. That's who Alex Hormozy has been for the last 20 years. Hamza has only been that for the last 1 year. So him completely reverting to that aspect of his personality was not staying true to himself. And that on camera he could show that version of himself but in his personal life his stoic code was suffering and he was not having the daily level of accountability he did in the i'm not a failure video so the lessons from this is number 1 it's very important to have a personal stoic code me myself sometimes i deviate you know cuz but i do believe in the personal stoic code what is my code habit tracking macro tracking physical fitness 800 calories burned every single day being a community leader you don't want to be a jeffrey sitting in your room all day right you want to be social right as well as self education read books 
And lastly, dopamine detox. These are tenets of my personal stoic code. These are tenets I practice during the stoic reset protocol. These are tenets that are built in my stoic fitness protocol, my stoic discipline protocol, my stoic solution protocol, and my stoic business protocol. To be a modern day stoic, you need daily accountability. And this is what Hamza unfortunately wavered from, but he will be back because Hamza knows that this is what brought him success. And I can see myself when I sit here at 8.30 a.m. recording a video before I go to my nine to five and before I'm gonna kill a workout and before I'm gonna journal and before I'm gonna grind out YouTube videos, this is the surest path to success. Having a personal stoic code. So Hamza not only fell off self-improvement, Hamza fell off of stoicism and daily accountability. But Hamza will be back. He's going to go live his one vas. He's already training in Bali or Singapore, where the fuck he is. And he's going to be back, a changed man. And I believe that he's going to lead us forward like he does, in, like he has in the past. So thank you for watching and see you at the top. Peace.